you at CNET here at CES 2013. And before me are the LEGO Mindstorms EV3. This is the new generation of LEGO's robotic platform. And it has a lot more to it than in previous generations. Not only does one box get you five combinations with instructions, but you can go online and get up to 17 robots out of it. There's so many instructions, there's so many things you can do with this. Each one of these creatures, these characters, comes from one set. The LEGO box itself will give you instructions on five, but you can go online and get even more. The components consist of a brain that you can program. You program it with Linux. Now, you can either do some basic programming on the LEGO brick itself or take it to your computer to do a lot more. So it goes from age ranges of 10 years old with some basic programming. Or if you're an enthusiast, it depends how far you want to take it. You could even hack this thing. There are tons of sensors and motors in this. And it's all about the combination that you build it. So you have different characters here. You even have one called Reptar that has a sensor that if someone sticks their hand in front of it, it'll give you a bite. Now when it comes to commanding your beast, you can have a remote that it comes with that's very basic, or you can take it to another level, use your smartphone as your controller. It'll use the, the gyro sensors if you want, or buttons on the screen. It's a great way for kids to really start learning how to program. Lego has made it so if you just want to learn a little bit, they'll hold your hand and, and make it really easy to, to do a task or two. Lego even gives you a free smartphone or tablet app so you can go through how to build it in a 3D world. You're going to start seeing this second half of the year for about $350. At CES 2013, I'm Bridget Carey with CNET with your first look at the Lego Mindstorms EV3 set.